Today I'm going to teach you how to search like a pro. Once you get this down, and it's going to take you two seconds, you are going to be all over the system pulling the data just like you need it. All right. So first off, I'm going to use enterprise searching. I'm looking at my item open MMS 200. Maybe I want to look at everything blue, so I'll type in blue. And look, everything blue. Maybe I want to look at all my dresses, so, I'll, so let's type in dress. Maybe I want to look at everything with the word wrap in it, because why wouldn't you want to look up everything with the word wrap in it? So enterprise search is super easy to find different things. What about customer order lines? You got dates and items. Maybe I want to look at a particular style. We'll do style 1004. So now I have all the orders for style 1004. Maybe I want to look at my customers. Let's look at all my Walmart customers. I'm going to type in Walmart, see what happens. Boom, just my Walmart customers. This is enterprise search. Very easy to find things. Now that's the basics, what I just showed you. Throw in a word and boom, it shows it, right? So now you're no longer trying to navigate fields and figuring it out, just type in a word. But what about if we wanna get a little bit more sophisticated with our searching? Maybe we wanna look at a date range. Let me show you how to do that. First, to give some backup documentation, go to the Info Center, type in the word search. And there's going to be a few documents in here that you're going to want to look at. Specifically, Lucene reference. Not Lucille. You pick to find time to leave me, Lucene. Just like that. You're going to select that guy. See this URL? Go ahead and grab that and see what's going on. We're going to open it up and take a look at it. So this is the Lucene reference, right? So you can go down and take a look at it and it shows you the logic that Enterprise Search is using for all of that. It's pretty simple. The one thing I want to point out though are curly brackets and square brackets. So square brackets meaning you're going to include these and curly brackets are meaning, hey, I want, this is a range, but don't include the before and after. If I remember right, it's kind of like a lot like algebra when you're doing interval notation, just nerd out on you a little bit. If you have a square bracket, that means you're including that number, but if you have a parenthesis, you're not including that number. It's the same thing just like that. Keep in mind, there's also a set of macros that come to help you search a little bit better, and let me show you what those look like. Go to Use Search Functions and look at Advanced Search. There are some macros provided. The one you're going to use a lot is date. That's a big one. So take a look at this on the screen and let me show you how this works. Here you see some field and a date range. Date zero is today. So in this case, we're saying date minus 14 to today. So we're going back in time. Woo -woo. Two weeks to figure out the dates. So why is this important? Hey, maybe I want to find out late order lines. That way I can say, give me all the order lines that are at least two weeks old or, or older or something like that. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll show you how to do that. So here I am back at my order lines. Let's go ahead and use that date field. I'm going to right click this confirm delivery date, say add to search. Boom, it pops up here. And now, as you can see, my autocomplete, it's already there, but I'm going to do it manually. I'm going to put in a square bracket, type in the word date, and I'm going to say minus 14 to date. Whoop, you see where I made a boo-boo? Let's fix that real quick. Boom, to date, zero. All right, so what that's going to do, oh, forgot the bracket. That's, and then of course that will include, because I'm doing the square brackets, it's including this and including that. So it's going to bring me everything up to today. Now, if I used curly brackets, it wouldn't include today. And so as you can see, now it's giving me just the items that are late from today back to two weeks. Pretty cool. Now you're going to need to remember this because in my next video, I'm going to show you how to configure a monitor to drill directly right back in here. There's a lot of really cool things you can do with that functionality. So make sure you review those documents, review that website to understand a little bit. You can do mix and match and add different fields together and do ands and ors. And just to give you an example, let's do something else. Maybe I want 
I want those dates, but now I want everything also in picking status. If it's in picking status, that's status 44. There's a video out there too that talks about the status codes in the system if you're a little bit fuzzy. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Let's go ahead and say, we're gonna add this field to search as well. And you can see it tacked it right on the end. And now I'm gonna say right here, we're just gonna put in 44. So now it's going to give us everything in picking as well as everything that's late. Pretty cool, huh? As long as you stick to the logic that's within the Lucene search, you're gonna be all right. Hey, do a little bit of practice and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for some more videos. Oh, and, and like the videos as well. Thanks so much.